we now have all the pieces and all the skills to now attempt to write a processing plugin. We'll build a script. The idea for this plugin is we want to build a plugin where the user will select a layer and will build a tool where they'll select any vector layer from the layers that you, they've loaded and they'll select an output path and you will generate a CSV file with the attribute table of the vector layer. So for example, if I want to have a plugin I'll, and I select the blocks layer, it'll give me a CSV file with the attribute table. So I'm gonna export my attribute table as a CSV file. That's the goal of the plugin. And we'll have a CSV file in this case of 6,000 to, to six rows. And we'll have proper CSV formatted with all the attribute values and the columns and the thing. This functionality now exists in the processing tool. There's already a tool in the toolbox that does this, but we'll implement something similar and say, how can we write a tool that allow the user to pick the layer they want and write the output as a CSV file for that table. To do this first, let's also learn a little bit more about the API for accessing the attributes. When you have a feature, in this case, you can say you get the field names. We have this field names. For each feature, you can do something like this as well. When you have a feature, you can access the value of any attribute using this notation. So if I want to know what is the block number for this feature, I can just say F in square brackets block number. This will get you the value of the block number column from this particular feature. So when I run this, you can see it's 0001. That's the name value of that attribute. So if you want to know the name of any field and you want to get the value from a feature, you can use this syntax. You also have this function called dot attributes. This will just give you a list of all the values for that particular feature. So let's run this and you can see I have a list of all the attribute values. So I can do something like this, that for F in layer dot get features print F dot attribute. It's going to go and print the entire attribute table for me. It's going to go through each feature and show me the list of all the column names. Let's run this. And once this goes through, you'll see the output printed, which is this the list of each attribute for, as a list for each column value for each layer. One of the downsides of running the script in the console like this is this can take a long time. You do not get any feedback on how far it has gone. You can see my QGIS is stuck. I can't do anything else till it prints it. And we're gonna fix all of this when we build a processing tool the processing script will fix all of these issues. It'll run in the background. It'll run, give you a nice progress bar and so on. But for now, you can see I've got this nice list of all the values for each feature. And I can use this to say, I will now write this to a file as a CSV file. So let's go through the next section and learn how to iterate through each feature, get all the attributes and write to a CSV file. First, we'll do this as a regular script and then we'll understand the process and then we'll convert this to a proper processing algorithm that will run with the user interface. We'll take the code from section 11.1. I'm gonna start with some code here. Just, I wanna create a file called output.csv in my data package. I'll have a reference to my current layer. I'm gonna select the blocks layer. For this exercise, when you're running this yourself, do not select other layers. They are much larger and your script will likely hang QGIS. So when we convert it to a proper processing script, then you'll be able to use any layer, which will give you without hanging QGIS. But for now, just use the blocks layer. And we're going to now go and say, I want to get all the fields. So we'll say, I have all the fields. We'll get the list of field names. This is what we've done. Let's just print this. This will give me all the different field names that are there for this particular layer. And you can see this particular layer has three fields and this will be from the header of my CSV file. When I have a CSV file, I need the column names. So this will be the column names. I want to now go and get the actual values of all the attributes for each feature. So I can do something like this for F in layer dot get features. I want F dot attributes. You can see I'm writing this comprehension. Always good to start from the back. So it's a for F in layer dot get features, F dot attributes. And I can put this in the list. So I'll get a list of all the values from the, my attribute table. And this will be my data. So just this one line has created, gone through the entire attribute, entire features, entire layer, all the features, caught the attribute values for each row. And we have a list of list, which is stored in this data. We have the header, we have the data we can create a CSV file. The easiest way to do this 
is using pandas. Your QGIS installation also comes with built in with pandas and geo pandas libraries. These are libraries which are commonly used in Python for data science. For now, we just use pandas, which can work with tabular data. So we imported pandas as PD and we can just create a data frame. So I can create a pandas data frame from this. We just need this data. So we say I have this list of lists, create a data frame from it. We'll just specify that my column names are this here. And this will give you a nice data frame. Once you have a data frame, you can just save it as CSV file. Pandas knows how to save a data frame as CSV or Excel or any other format that we have. So we'll just say save it as a CSV file to this output path that we have created. And we don't want the pandas index. Done. So this is the code that will allow us to go through each feature, get its value, and create this file called output.csv. Let's run this. I'm going to run this code. Name is not defined. Okay, let's see names typo here. Okay, so let's run this, and you can see it executed. Let's go back to my data package, and you can see we have an output.csv file. Let's open up this file, and you can see I have this CSV file containing all the data of my attribute table. So this is the core functionality of my plugin that I want my plugin to do something like this, where whatever layer is selected, it's gonna iterate through each feature, get its attribute value, and then save the output as a CSV file. We can add some error checking. So again, if you're writing scripts like this, you want to make sure that user doesn't select a raster layer. If I select a raster layer, it should not even execute the plugin. So I can add some error checking. So I'll say, if the layer type is not QGIS vector layer, give an error. So if I select this and try to run the script, it will give me an error please select a vector layer. If the user is not even selected a layer, we have to say, oh, if the layer is not that, you have to at least select a layer. So you can add some error checking. When you're writing script like this, error checking is required. This is also another reason to not write scripts like this. Use the processing scripts, which has got built-in error checking. You don't have to do all of this code. The API will provide you all the error checking. Let's try running this. All of you can now go to 11.1, copy the code, run it, see if you're able to generate your output.csv file. So try this out, copy the code, paste it here, select the blocks layer, run it, see if you're able to generate the output.csv file correctly.